My name is Mark Jennings, and I'm a master's student at the Nuclear Robotics Group. And this is my robot, Scorpio. Scorpio is a robot arm, or a manipulator, much like this manipulator in our glove box. However, you might see something like this, assembling cars in an assembly line. But Scorpio is a little bit different. Most notably, it has these two parallelogram mechanisms with springs embedded inside them. And these springs stretch as the robot moves, which passively compensates for the weight of successive linkages and any given payload. And they can be dynamically set for a wide variety of payloads. So while I would get tired holding, say, 10 pounds in front of me for just a few minutes, Scorpio is passively balanced and doesn't need to exert any energy to hold a given position. Now I'm going to run Scorpio through its workspace demo just to show you the range of motion of a system like this. So now I have added a bowling ball to Scorpio, and it's actually been sitting here for about 10 minutes now, so you can imagine how difficult that would be if you were a human trying to hold a bowling ball for 10 minutes. It'd be very tiring. And what I'm actually going to do now, rather than just doing a joint script, is I'm going to use a 3D mouse, like you might use when you're doing a CAD design, and I'm going to move it around in Cartesian space. And this is actually the first time I've done this, so I'm probably a little bit more excited than you guys are. And I'm moving it pretty slow because I'm kind of worried. But it seems to be doing pretty well. And uh, before it breaks, I'm going to call it there. <laughs> so you're probably wondering what on earth I'm doing attaching a bowling ball to a very expensive robot. Well, I'm not teaching it how to bowl. In fact, what I'm doing is replicating a process across some Department of Energy facilities where a heavy spherical object needs to be dropped into a hemispherical mating cup and the object also is going to have a fragile pin at the bottom, which I'm representing with a spaghetti noodle. Um, and that's going to fit into a corresponding hole. So I've chosen a spaghetti noodle and a bowling ball just because you kind of understand how heavy they are, how they feel, how fragile they are in case of the noodle, um, and how difficult this process is without an augmenting technology like a gantry system or a robot like this. So my master's work is going to be exploring collaborative algorithms that will assist operators in this assembly task, trying to make their lives safer and make the process more successful.